Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting Excel video as today we are learning about custom data labels that dynamically change their colors from blue to red depending on the positive or negative results. Let's get started. All right, let's get rid of this chart and start from the very beginning. So begin with we have a simple sales data of several years containing actual and planned figures and we have calculated the variance figures simply deducting this value from this. Once we have the variances calculated, select the years column, press and hold down control key on the keyboard and select the variance column. Now remember, my chart requires plotting only the variance figures. If your requirements dictate that you must have the actual and planned figures in the chart as well, you can select the actual and plan columns as well. So once we have the columns selected, go to insert tab and under chart group, click on this little button on the bottom right corner of the group and you will have access to entire range of charts that are available to you in Excel. I'm going to go with this one, press OK and now I have the chart inserted. Let me reframe it so that you can see it easily. All right, first thing that I noticed is that my axis is not visible. So right click on the axis, format axis, go to labels and change label position to low. Now we have the axis at an appropriate position I'm going to select this series by simply left clicking on any of these bars and now I have the entire series selected in the chart. Once that is done, go to chart design tab and under that click add chart elements, data labels and I'm going to go with outside end. Now I have the values against each of these labels. It is much more easier for me to know what value is this. Now in order to format these data labels, just right click on any of these numbers and then go to format data labels. From here, click number drop down, and under format code input bar, remove anything that is written at the moment. So now I have access to the custom number formatting input bar here. Now this is the important part, so pay attention. I'm going to format both positive and negative figures. That means I'm going to instruct Excel that how positive figures should appear and also how negative figures should appear in the chart. Remember, I have two important things to do. One is that I need to give a color to both negative and positive figures. And I'm also going to insert a symbol that is up arrow and down arrow for each of the positive and negative figures for better understanding. All right, having the cursor in the input bar, square bracket, blue, closing square bracket. Now press and hold down Alt key on the keyboard and on the numpad, that is the number pad on your keyboard, press three zero, let go of the Alt key and you have the up arrow symbol inserted in the input bar. Space bar, zero, semicolon, and I have completed the instruction for the positive figure of the number formatting. Now after semicolon, I'm going to give instruction about how the negative number should be appearing. So opening square bracket, red, closing square bracket, once again, press and hold down Alt key on the keyboard, press 3, 1. On the numpad of your keyboard, let go of the Alt key and now you have the down facing arrow symbol inserted in the input bar. Space bar, 0, semicolon. Again, I have completed the instruction for the negative figure. After semicolon, I'm going to instruct how zero should be appearing in the chart and I want zero to appear as zero. Simple as that. Once that is done, click add button and now you can see instantly the positive figures appearing with upward facing arrow and in blue color and negative figures are appearing with downward facing arrow 
in red color. So there you have it. Hope you have enjoyed this video. And if that is the case, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and push the notification bell icon to receive updates about the future videos that I'm planning to release soon. That's it for today. I'm your host Hassan Fazal signing out and see you in the next video.